Let's work on some photo. Themed photo is one more like from Steampunk Festival. So we're going to do. For this, we open the photo in the as a, in camera raw. Okay, let me readjust slightly. Okay, and if we look on this image, you'll notice this is image uh, CR2. So it was um, camera raw photo shot inside um, with the Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, we also can go and check some options, what it was said, ASO 100, one of, uh, 24, 105, 40 millimeters. Um, in some cases, I'm using a wide angle as give it kind of interesting perspective. And again, when you shoot in a little bit closer spaces, probably between 35, 40, it will come up very nicely. And of course, because it was using studio lighting, I was using f10 and 125 seconds. Um, in some cases, you look and it's look almost flat. It's reason why I want to add nice lighting, but at the same time, uh, after in dodge and burn, I will bring shadows where I like it. So it's give me a little bit more composition. And again, I can bring shadows on a person much easier than you can bring highlights without creating digital noise. Okay, the process here in camera raw. First, what we're going to do it is at least using remove chromatic abbreviations. Mostly, we'll notice with some lenses, maybe like on edges, um, it just adjusts with some purple and green realignment. In some cases, you maybe want to use it lens profile. It will actually detect, but again, you can see how it's a uh, highlight and stretch it. For me, I want to leave it as is. I like it. I'm just going to remove color. Um, chromatic abbreviation. So the next thing is actually what I'm going to do, and it's a little bit different from some other uh, workflows that people do. I'm going to um, first add sharpening. And the reason is why, because for me, I want to add some sharpness to this and it's um, to the image. But when it starts introducing noise, I want to remove those noise after. So I'm going to bring and about, if you're going anywhere from 50 to about 83, you kind of have a very safe look. With the guys, it's a little bit easier. With the girls, you will start carrying with the latest more visible effect. And you can see right here, we have a lot of this. So I'm going about maybe 60, somewhere around there. We'll take details and we can bring them not that much, but just slightly down. Um, additional adjustments, we could add, remove some luminosity. And this will apply a little bit more when we um, kind of remove some shadows. So maybe some noise will try to remove on that. Okay, so let's leave it like this for now. Next, I'm going in uh, our tab with the basic settings. And here, I'm just looking overall, we don't have a too much overexposure. So if we have a lot of whites, I maybe take my highlights down. And with um, ladies, when I want to bring whiteness to the skin, I maybe want to bring a little bit opposite to add highlights. So in this case, I probably will bring just a little bit up look a little bit darker to me and I'll take shadows and also bring shadows so notice right here when we come closer darker areas the adding um, shadows we be careful because it start introducing a lot of digital noise in this case mostly we'll see in the darker areas something like right here you can see we introduce but we start having details so I'll bring maybe about 30 27 for this image Okay, I don't need to modify um, whites and blacks. Um, maybe just add a little bit curving in on highlights and darken. So give us this type curve, just bring a bit more. Again, um, not flatten all the way, but work a little bit on the face. Um, next step, I'm going inside the HSL grayscale. We'll work with the luminosity. And right here, you will notice um, Many times, if you take highlights and you bring them down, you'll notice we add some shadows to this because the dimension what's happening when we're creating um, high, uh, the brighter light, it's meaning it's kind of stepping out closer to the light or to the camera. And darker, it's more far away. So we can add additional shape to our image with uh, just work on this. But again, when I bring highlights down, we have a nicer, deeper shadows. But the problem is, I'm start losing some of the skin look too dark. So we can work with orange color to um, add luminosity and yellow. And in some cases, you can see how it will add a 
little bit better detail so i want to bring this up as well my background is green so i maybe want to take just slightly down to make it darker on those colors and maybe a little bit even brighter so overall right here you can see kind of applied okay so right here let me just preview it okay for purpose of this tutorial i'm going to um, open this image and as 8-bit if you need change you just go down right here and you can select this as 16-bit for some commercial sh sh uh, shots or maybe for the magazines they may require higher bit depth but you can change for the purpose of tutorials i will just add b this will process a little bit faster on the filters okay so when we're done i'm going to open and i'm open as a normal image so i won't open this as a smart object you can always change this to the smart object but for me because i will preserve the original i can always come edit and with photoshop now you can go inside and edit again in ca camera raw filters anytime when you need it so you can go back and modify it if you need it okay so right here for this we have a, one image done and it's a little bit different workflow depend if i work on a male or female characters because i need to process sometimes skin um many times when i process skin i like to leave some imperfections in the skin on so it's give it a little bit better um, feel as natural so for the male i'm going to add a little bit painting effect on our skin something remove it and we'll add also start dodge and burning so to add painting in effect control j this way we duplicating the layer okay and we can go ahead um click on this layer and rename it okay let's go name it um skin so we're going to go inside and I'm going to filter noise dust and scratches you'll notice how it's kind of creating almost painting effect I'll just take a little bit lower on this character let's click OK and we'll go create mask and on mask I press ctrl I to universe next we'll go use a brush and we're going to use it for this soft edge brush opacity 10 and i'll just switch to white brush so i'm kind of start brushing in some of the right here areas slightly if you're using white on pad you can use it with pressure sensitive because i'm using mouse for the purpose i'm just need to go a little bit more but overall you can see i'm kind of adjusting the one eye you can see kind of squeal i'm not sure if i like it leave it this way or i want to retouch but um in some case natural look i will probably leave it on one modify eye that much we could expand it and bring a little bit more down or copy and burst and just add it um that way and maybe we'll do after but for now kind of squeeing i like this add a little bit more look on this eye squeeing so from this look it's look okay um actually add a little bit more characters and again those imperfections it's what create um better looking character so i'm touching can that's and remember when you're retouching a uh, skin be sure you retouch if the feet is there and skin so you try to mask match the skins right there okay it's all for this one again if it was female will a little bit different workflow but i think on the skin it's look good okay um this also same nice moving if you have a problem with uh, for example noise black noise you can always go inside and then this is will kind of remove some of that noise in black okay i'm going to zoom out increase size of my brush and maybe pop up to 30 percent just take a little bit smooth background around you just remove some of those wrinkles or make them look a little bit softer okay, go right there so 
we still have it, the wrinkles, but as I said before, we just smooth them out a little bit. Okay, next layer, it will be dodge and burn. So I'm going to create a new layer. Okay, we'll go shift, backspace, or you can go from the image fill and we'll fill with 50% gray. So let's go ahead, click OK. Okay, and we'll continue with this in the next portion of tutorials.